On the 24th of May 1956, the first Eurovision Song Contest took place in Lugano, Switzerland. Welcome to History Pod. The Eurovision Song Contest has become one of the most watched non-sporting events in the world, but emerged from humble beginnings. The original idea for the contest came from Marcel Besançon, the chairman of the European Broadcasting Union, at a meeting in Monaco in 1955. Founded in 1950, the EBU was looking for a way to bring the countries of Europe together after the devastation and division of the Second World War. However, of the 23 member countries at the time, only seven countries chose to participate in the first Eurovision competition, and only three more opted to broadcast the show. Demonstrating just how far communication technology has come since those early days, it's worth noting that the first Eurovision Song Contest took place over a year before Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, was put into orbit. The first competitions were therefore relayed across Europe using a terrestrial microwave network that linked the countries of Europe together like an invisible spider's web. Although the contest is now seen as much about geopolitics as music, the geography of Eurovision is intriguing. Countries do not have to be within the continent of Europe to be eligible to enter, and nor do they need to be members of the European Union. Eligibility is based on the European Broadcasting Area, which, even more confusingly, covers an area that extends into North Africa in the Middle East. This helps to explain the regular appearance of Israel and also the appearance of Morocco in 1980 with an entry that finished second to last with seven points. It doesn't, however, explain Australia's presence in the competition, which is an entirely different story.